So today I'm talking about a P2172 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2172 code? Well, it's a throttle actuator control system, sudden high airflow detected. And what does this mean? Well, there's a throttle body located on fuel injected engines. And basically all the air needs to be going through the throttle body. And the computer can control how much air is going in by opening and shutting this throttle body plate. And when you get a P2172 code, the computer's seeing that air is going around the throttle body. It's not going through the throttle body. Or for some reason, too much air is going through the throttle body. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes of a P2172 code? Well, the first thing that can cause this is that air is getting into the engine going around the throttle body. This is going to be the most common cause. There can be other causes, but this is the most common one, is that for some reason air is getting into the engine around the throttle body. And so this is going to be something along the lines like a leaky hose, a bad gasket, a bad PCV valve, something along these lines. And there's some different ways you go about testing for a vacuum leak. Sometimes you can hear it. Sometimes it'll be kind of noisy and you'll be able to hear it. Some mechanics will start up the engine and then they'll get a spray like WD-40 or throttle body cleaner or something like that. And then they'll go around the engine and wherever they think the vacuum leak's at, they're going to spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes up or down, then they know that's where the leak's at and they can look closer at that spot. Another method is used a smoke machine method, where basically you feed smoke into the intake, and wherever the smoke comes out, you know you found the leak, and then you're able to go and fix it. You can make up these smoke machines yourself if you want to. There's a lot of DIY videos on how you could go about making up a smoke machine for less than like five, ten dollars There's also some low-cost units that you could buy on like eBay or Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you need to check one out. But the first thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of vacuum leak going on and that air is going into the engine going around the throttle body. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad sensor. And this would be something like a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor or a bad mass airflow sensor or something along these lines. Usually, if you have a bad sensor, you're going to get another code. For example, if you had a bad mass airflow sensor, you get a code like a P0101 code or something along these lines. And so if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad sensor. And so if you check out the other things and there's no issues there, then the next thing to do is go check out this throttle body and be sure that there's no issues going on with it. If you look in there and it looks really dirty, it's got a lot of buildup on it and different things like this, it is a good idea to clean it up. Since a dirty throttle body can't cause many problems, can't cause issues. And so if it does look really dirty, you can go get some throttle body air intake cleaner. And basically you just spray inside of there real good. Maybe use like a small toothbrush and a rag and just clean it up real good. And quite often that solves a lot of problems. One thing to mention is that if you do use throttle body cleaner to clean it up, when you first start up the vehicle for like the first 30 seconds or a minute or so, the engine will run badly until all that throttle body cleaner is burnt off. But then after that, it should run better. It's also possible that there is some kind of issue going on with that throttle body, that it's staying open more than it should, or some kind of issues going on with it. And so you can run some tests on this throttle body, be sure that it's working the way it should be. It's because the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with that throttle body and it's causing issues. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2172 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.